restrictions kicked in from midnight in these 12 local government areas in South West and Western Sydney. Masks are now mandatory wherever you go. There are simply no excuses. The only time you can be seen without a mask is when you're doing a vigorous exercise and you're only allowed to exercise for one hour a day. That curfew is in place between 9pm and 5am so nobody should be moving around. From midnight tonight, a curfew will come into play for residents in 12 Sydney LGAs where COVID cases continue to surge. <laughs> works here behind me has just closed its doors to customers. It certainly was busy this afternoon though with people arriving to make last minute purchases. Hardware stores in those hot spots are also being forced to close. However, Bunnings has gone one step further and announced it will be closing the doors of all its retail outlets in Greater Sydney to members of the general public. <laughs> Midnight, there will be tougher restrictions for those 12 LGAs. There will be a curfew coming into place from 9 pm until 5 am. People will only be allowed to exercise for an hour a day. And that hit the CBD to express their frustration uh, at this current lockdown. And there you go. We have some protesters there trying to break through the police line. We've got mounted police also trying to stop the demonstration from going ahead. Uh, as for the rest of the state, well, from midnight, you will have to wear a mask when outdoors unless you are exercising. Oh, cross over! Everyone, go across the border! Cross over! They cannot arrest all of us! sympathy for anyone ignoring the health orders. Even this group of teenagers caught partying after dark at the bottom of the North Bondi Cliffs. Herded to higher ground by Polair's spotlight and speaker, the eight boys were placed in handcuffs and left to explain a thousand dollar fine to mum. These rioters are clashing with police and police have said that they are out in full force to try to deter uh, people from attending this anti-lockdown protest that's currently going through Melbourne's CBD, as you can see there, police. It's getting harder and harder to hide if you're doing the wrong thing, especially in the construction industry, a crackdown following on from the recent shutdown. Workers sent home if their paperwork isn't in check. Inspectors have asked these tradesmen to show proof of their QR check-in as well as identification and vaccination records. One of the men here is from Campsie and he doesn't have his documentation, so he's being sent home. He may lose a chunk of his pay too if officers follow through with a fine. 